Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is David, and this is my first Jans Vista uh, helpful uh, tips or how to video. And I just want to go over some things, take these opportunities to talk about some things that I have struggled with as I'm programming or using Jans Vista, or some things that maybe you guys might address um, or come across while you're trying to use Jans Vista, which, by the way, I think is an amazing program. You know, I will always recommend it. I think it's one of the best uh, lighting consoles, uh, console slash softwares out there. So I'm going to dive right here, dive right into what my what my issue was, and then kind of talk about the the solution. Um, as you know, Jan's Vista is a tracking program, and what that means is that if you make a cue or make an edit or or do something to a fixture, say this cue here and Q3, it's going to carry that edit forward all the way from to, till, the, till the end of this queue list. And it's going to continue to do that until you tell it to do something different. So sometimes what happens is, this happens, this has happened to me a lot, is you'll make an adjustment and not mean to. And then you'll be down here on Q7 trying to figure out what in the world is, why is this light doing this? I never told it to do that. Well, what happened was it's, it's receiving program. It's, it's getting program. Um, it's being told to do something you may not have told it to do. And let me show you one quick uh, helpful hint or helpful tip here to, to figure out what's going on here. I like to use the timeline view, and I like to look and see. I like to look at that cue. And I like to look and see what fixtures are receiving what programming. So I can see all these LED fixtures are receiving intensity. And I like to see, let's see, actually, um, this, uh, there's a fixture in here receiving um shutter information which doesn't make sense that that shouldn't be the case so one of the things I'm going to do I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go to tools this is a great way to take programming out of a queue list that you never intended it to be in there and I'm going to tell it to remove it. Remove two events for one slide fixture. Yes. Because the only programming that I want on this queue list here that I've called G Hayes is um, I really just wanted to have intensity and color, which are for LED fixtures. And, um, and that's right. So something, what had happened, though, what had caused this to happen was I was playing through this cue list here and I noticed that when I got to my third cue, my some of my movers lamped off. I was like, what the heck happened? Well, I was I was dousing my fixtures or lamping off my, my fixtures yesterday, but I had this open. So I was editing. So what I was doing is I was saving that command in that cue on this cue list. And so the best thing to do is come in here, go to select your fixtures, and go to tools and remove selected. And of course there's zero events. I'd actually I've already done this. But that's a great way to pull programming out of a queue list that you do not want in that queue list. Um, hope that helps. Uh, stay tuned and uh, more videos are coming soon. Thanks guys.